All right, so there is a chance for severe thunderstorms as well to develop in parts of the central part of the country, really. And that'll be um, as we head in through tonight and then even into tomorrow, which we'll look at. But uh, severe thunderstorm watch, this was recently issued. This impacts, um, it did expire. Okay, thank you, Tihoti. So the tornado warning that we did have in central Kansas was allowed to expire. So good news there, but that watch is still going to be in place for portions of Kansas from central and then in towards eastern parts of the state. We actually have a second severe thunderstorm warning, this one popping up just to the east of Wichita there. And so we'll continue to watch these storms as they flare up uh, as we head further into the evening, much like they did yesterday. And a big threat is going to be some of the winds, and then you can't rule out some rotation, which we've already seen uh, triggered in one spot so far. So taking you over to Wichita, notice just to the well northeast of you, uh, we have this particular cell right here that's prompting maybe a little bit of hail. Yep, so right here is where you're seeing the hail core. So that's been dropping some hail. And as you head further into the northeast, this thing's going to continue to head in that way. So heavy rainfall as well and some gusty winds. Don't forget severe strength winds around 60 miles per hour as a threshold, and then it goes up from there. Uh, taking it over to the other warned storm. Now, this one did have a tornado warning attached to it. They were they allowed that to expire, but at this point, it's still a severe thunderstorm warning. This is for Ellsworth, Kansas, till 630. Uh, Cody just rewinding it and then playing it forward where you could see a little bit of that rotation that we did have. There were some observations of funnel clouds, uh, but it looks like nothing actually transpired to the ground. So good news, good news, but it's still a pretty dangerous storm that you could be out in and you don't want to be driving in. So we're just to the south of I-70 here. And this is heading northeast, so it'll be heading over towards Salina and crossing over 135 uh, in a little bit. So severe storm threat as we head through tonight, we're seeing a lot of that setup come out of Kansas right now uh, in towards Missouri, Iowa, also included in the further north that you go into the upper Great Lakes. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.